Hey guys, Natalie Jill here. Welcome back to Happy, Healthy, and Fit. Today we're doing a killer arm workout for women. And all you need for this is some light weights. And in fact, you don't even have to use light weights if you don't have them. You can use soup cans, you can use your own body weight and actually envision the muscle and really think about it, concentrate to make yourself working the muscle. But even advanced, you're gonna use light weights. I'm using five pounds right here because we're gonna do a lot. I've got three exercises that we're gonna do, two are combo moves, and we're gonna do a lot of them, so you're really gonna feel it. We're targeting your arms, but you're gonna mainly feel this in your biceps and your shoulders today. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna start with my five pounds. The first exercise is just like this. So everything's tight, stomach in, core tight. We're raising it up to the side. You're gonna mostly feel this in your shoulders. And I'm just going at a steady pace, up and down, and you won't necessarily feel it burn the first 10 or so, but when you get past that, you're gonna really feel it. And that's what I'm gonna ask you to keep on going. So keep doing this with me. Again, if you don't have weights or if you're just using soup cans, just imagine yourself feeling it in that shoulder and make it intense. Almost as if you're in some thick mud pushing up. Just up and down, slow and controlled, but staying at that steady pace, up and down. Just when you start feeling it burn, like right about now, you're gonna keep going. Up and down. Nice, now one reason I love working shoulders is the more defined your shoulders get, well, the smaller your waist looks, right? That's a nice benefit. <laughs> keep going, up and down. Whew. All right, give me five more right here. Keep going, two more. Nice, put it down. Whew. Okay, we're gonna give our shoulders a little bit of a break. We're gonna take it to a bicep move, but this is a combo move. We're gonna take it up here, then out to the side, just like this. Are you ready? Up to the side. So with this, we're really targeting those biceps, but we're working different angles of it, up and down. Make sure you keep your stomach in, core tight, and stay strong with those biceps. Got a lot of them. Make sure you're breathing. Just see what it looks like from the side, right here. Up and down, and you'll notice that even this light weight gets intense. You start to really feel it. Keeping that pace. Good job. Hope you're feeling it. Now, are you just watching me? Or are you gonna? Are you doing it with me? Hopefully, you're doing it with me. Up and down. Keep going. Now, there's no magic number on these. I like to do it until I'm really feeling it. But if you're a counter and you really need to count, then I'm gonna say try to do about 50. 50 of the sets. That'll keep you focused and that will give you that feeling of what it feels like when it starts to burn. Now if it gets too hard and you're going for the 50, just drop the weights and keep going. Nice job. Give me three more sets right here. Last set. Whew, feeling it? Those biceps should really be feeling it right now. We're gonna take it to the final combo move this time. It's a combo move, again, for shoulders, but it's also working your whole arm, but mostly shoulders. We're gonna take an upright row like this, and then out in front, just like that. Are you ready? Up and out, just like that. Ah. Now your arms should already be tired from those last exercises, so this is where it's really gonna to start to count, pushing it through. Ah. Up. Keep going. Now remember, if you get tired, which you're gonna really start to feel this, you can either keep going or you can drop the weights and keep that movement going, just like that. Stay strong, concentrating on those shoulders, those arms. Two more sets. Last one, woo, shake it out. Good job, okay, we're gonna just stretch out those shoulders and those biceps real quick. For your shoulder, you're gonna bring it across your body, just like that, stretch it out. Other arm, just like that. And then for your bicep, using one hand on top of the other, just stretching it out just like that. Now first, like that. I hope you like that, you can repeat the workout again or you can find one of my other workouts targeting any area of your body. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.